So in December 2020, GoPro surprised us with a couple new things. One is the final firmware update for the GoPro Hero 9 and also a new remote for the GoPro Hero 9. And at first, if you're a vlogger, you're like, oh, why do I even need a remote? But it's actually when you're doing action <laughs> that you really need it because you go out skiing or you go out driving, biking, and then now your GoPro is mounted. And I found it actually really useful. And now I'm never not gonna have a GoPro remote. We in particular tested it out with driving where it goes on your wrist and then the GoPro can be outside of the car. And the biggest question we had at first during the announcement was, is it gonna make the GoPro turn on? Because if your GoPro is outside and if it sleeps and then you can't turn it on, then it's totally useless. But it does, it does turn it on. This is another one of those purchases that we were like, I don't know if we really need that. Like we really weren't set on buying this remote. But since we bought it and started using it, we were actually really surprised at how useful it's been. A couple restrictions. Uh, one is that it's only compatible with the GoPro Hero 9. So I guess the previous version of this remote was called the GoPro Smart Remote, and that was, you know, compatible with all previous GoPro versions. Uh, this new one, I think the only thing that's new about it is the fact that it works with the Hero 9 and the layout is slightly different. So that is a little annoying, I would say. Yeah, GoPro at this point has done well extending the GoPro, but it needs to stabilize things where they start transitioning properly versus starting freshly again and again and again. Simply, people are not going to be buying this many things every time. Yeah, because yeah, this is a you know eighty dollar remote, and again, we found it more useful than we first expected. But still, pretty annoying that you have to buy a new one just to match a new camera. Uh, you know, another downfall is that the remote itself doesn't seem to hold a charge for too long. Like the battery starts dropping like really fast when you start using it. So and and you can't swap that battery out. It's a built-in battery. So if you want to recharge it, you have to plug it in and wait for it to recharge to use it again. Yeah, you need to be in the car. Have portable batteries or. Something. Something. Uh, on the flip side, I like its screen. It gives you good feedback. It tells you what mode you're in, settings and things. I think it allows you to change a few things, not everything like mm -hmm. the GoPro, but it has like something like three or four buttons. So you can do a lot through that remote uh, as long as it has charge. Yeah, and it's also worth mentioning that another way that you can control your GoPro remotely, which is what we were doing previously, is that you can use the GoPro app on your smartphone. And that worked out really well. We did that a lot with the Hero 8. And it's also really nice because it gives you a preview of what you're shooting so you can be sitting in the car and being like oh I can see exactly what we're shooting on the go I can see exactly what the, what the GoPro sees on my phone and you can also control it the only downside with that is that you weren't able to wake it up if, you, if it fell asleep so that was really bad and then now with Hero 9 there's a problem where you can't actually preview the footage as you're recording anymore yeah. so yeah that's kind of a new problem that they haven't addressed they haven't acknowledged that it's a problem but it is a problem so yeah they kind of broke things with that but still I would say the remote still has its merits, uh, at the very least because it can wake up your GoPro if it falls asleep, which it does do quite a bit. Yeah, I can see myself using it when I ski, when I bike, when I drive, possibly with a helmet on, climbing, running, whatever you want. It's just, it, it becomes so much less of an um, obstacle to what you're doing because you don't really have to reach for it and tinker and all that. You're just like, yeah. click, forget about it, done. Very good experience. Yeah. So GoPro remote, we recommend it, uh, but let us know in the comments what you guys think. If you bought the new one, if you are refusing to buy it because you don't like the fact that you have to buy a new one to be compatible with your Hero 9, let us know what you think and we'll see you in the next video.